There's an incredible open source AI tool for NeoVim called Avante.nvim. It's like Cursor IDE, but open source, and it's free. Well, you do have to use API credits, so it's not exactly free, but you just pay for what you use, and it's totally open source, so you can choose which model that you want. They have support for all of the models, and I'm using ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, which is a really cost-effective model. I'm Alex, and here on Zazen Codes, I'm making videos for data professionals and developers. Developers. I've got a bunch of premium content over on Patreon, which I'll talk about later. But for now, let's get to the demonstration. So today I'm taking on an analytics project. I'm going to be creating a streamlit dashboard for a simple data set. I'll describe all of that and then we'll go ahead and build that together. But first, I just want to show you a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about with Avante. Feel free to download my code and I'll have this link in the video description, Avante and Vim demos. Once you're in there, you can type Vim. I'm going to create some some tests japanese.html so i can launch avante with leader aa create an html document to help me learn japanese and i'll type control s to submit that request you can see that it's doing it through chat gpt 4 mini it's having a little chat context there and then it's outputting my html for me um, and I'm going to go up a little bit and I'm going to type capital A and this is going to insert this into my current document, which is this Japanese.html. Inside of here, I can type CA in order to accept, you know, what they're giving me here. I'm going to type leader AA like this in order to close the Avante pane and now I've got this HTML. So I'll say python -m -http server. And I'm going to open this URL up in Firefox. So I'll copy that, go over to Firefox. Let's have a look. This is the file that I was just provided. Um, and this is what Avante has done for me. Konnichiwa. Sayonara. Arigato. And another thing you can do with Avante is let's look for this yes and no. Say I didn't want to include this. I could say leader AE, and that would be Avante edit. And then I could do something like, I don't know, give me different words here. And I really like doing this one, so then I'll click save. And this actually edits the code right in place. It's really easy. It's an amazing feature. So if I save that, go back to my um, browser, and I can see the different words reflected here. So the power of Avante is incredible, and I love that this is open source. I've made an entire video on how to configure this and set it up like I have here in NeoVim. So you can check that out if you want to set this up. So let's close out of this. I'm gonna get rid of this file. And the first thing I wanna do is show you the data we're looking at. So I've got this gym members um, exercise tracking data set. I got this data set from Kaggle. It's a recent data set that I found that was getting a bit of attention. There's a bunch of information about people like their age and their gender and their weight, as well as information about a particular workout they're doing, such as the number of calories burned and the session duration. And then there's the workout itself. So in the last video, I created a model using Avante to classify the type of workout based on this information. Today, we're just going to look at this as an uh, from an analytics point of view and create a dashboard to investigate this data set. And in order to do that, I'm going to be using stream Streamlit. Streamlit is an open source tool for creating dashboards and it's really incredible and awesome. So now let's create a new file where our dashboard's gonna live and I'm gonna call it dash.py. And when I open this up, this is just gonna be an empty file. And I'm gonna talk to Avante and get it to edit this file and put code into here for me. For example, if I just type leader AA, that opens Avante and there's only a couple commands you have to know here. So I'm gonna type, so let's say create a um, demo uh, Streamlit dashboard in this file. And now I type control S and that submits this prompt. And then I can type um, capital A in order to insert the recommendation into the document. Um, from inside of here, see how I'm being prompted with some options here? I'll get rid of my um, tree so you can see that. So there's CO, CT, CC, and so on. These are just various options that they provide in order for you to like choose which recommendation to take. I typically just use CA. So CA like this, CA, and that accepts all of the changes that are being recommended. And here's our simple Streamlit dashboard. So from here, I could keep talking. And by the way, do you see all this red that's coming up? Sometimes I get these problems and I can just quit out of, um, quit out of Avante and reopen it and then it'll work okay. So I've got Avante here with space AA open and I can ask, well, how, like, how do I, how do I run this, right? How do um, I run this file? And I'll say, create me a 
um, readme.md. I'm going to type control S to submit that, and now it'll be working on that. So now it's creating a readme. So I can hop up into one of these code chunks and I'm again going to type capital A. And now what it's done is it's gone ahead and actually created that readme file. So it's different. It's not um, editing the file that I have opened, but it's created something. And it's kind of hard to, under to sort of understand that, but I'll show you. I'm going to type CA and that's going to accept all these changes. And then I'm going to save this. And now if I open up my um, file tree, you can see it's created this readme file. It's done it in the working directory. So I'm just going to pick that up and I'm going to put it where I expect it to be. I'll delete the original one and I'm going to hop over and open this. So this was the readme file that Avante just created for me. It's giving me some prerequisites and it's saying how to clone this repository. Actually, awkwardly, it's not, it's sort of stopped with its recommendations. So um, let's see if I can get those back. I'm going to type space AA and Avante doesn't have anything going on here. That's because it kind of has these chats which are associated with the current file. So if I go over to dash and then type um, space AA, I can pull up Avante where it was telling me about this readme file. And I'm just going to sort of grab this data another way. So I can type, um, I can change panes just for me using uh, W as my key in Vim and then the arrow keys to move around are actually like the Vim motion keys. But in any case I'm gonna hop up here and I'm just gonna copy this stuff manually so uh, an installation is where I can yank that and then I'm gonna go over to my readme and I'm gonna paste that in here alright so that is the readme that Avante has created for me and notice how this is all integrated like right I don't have to use my mouse which is what I really love about this um, I can just use my keyboard and do things in a very NeoVim agnostic way Check this out. If I don't like how this is working, I can highlight it and type leader AE. And now I can edit right inside of the page. And this is my favorite thing about Avante. It's my favorite way to use this. And I'm going to say use a virtual environment. You don't even have to spell right. It, it, it'll, it'll figure it out. So now I'm, after I clone the repository, it's telling me to create a virtual environment. It's renumbered that to step two. And then it's created a new step three for me on how to activate that. I'm going to get rid of the Windows stuff because I don't, I don't need that. And it's telling me to activate my environment and use it. So let's um, let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to open up a new pane down here. And we're going to go into the uh, dashboard folder. That's this one. And I'll create my um, virtual environment. So I'll say python -m -vem -vem to create that. After we do that, I'm going to prepare myself to activate it and install Streamlit. So I'll grab this code, activate it, and then I'll say pip install Streamlit. Let's go ahead and doing that. And now I'm going to try and run this. So I'll say streamlit run dash. So it's finished installing that. And now I'll go ahead and run the dashboard. It's welcoming me. It wants me to have an email in here. I'm not going to do that. And it's gone ahead and opened my dashboard. So here's the example dashboard that we have. Um, and that's what it created for us. So now let's actually create this using our data set. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of think about that and show you some tricks for doing that. I'll bring this server down. We'll bring it back up later. I want to start messing around with this. I want to update this. So I'm going to say some information about my data set. And this is going to provide in the context of Avante what it needs in order to create this dashboard for me based on my actual data. At least this is what I want to try. Honestly, I haven't, haven't tried this yet, but this seems like the thing to do. So here's my data here, and I'm going to grab just you know some ex example data from here. And I'll do this. And I'm going to say actually data set sample like that. Next, I want to craft a prompt based on this data. And so I'm going to create a new file to do that. And I'm going to call it prompt.txt. And this is going to help me because I don't like how confining the Avante input is. So I can write here in a less confining way. Um, and I can also grab stuff. Like for example, I want to know, I want to yank this file name. I'm going to want to use that. Update this streamlit dashboard analyze data the data set is in this file tables and visualizations include some filters that i can use to do analysis so this is very general um, instruction right here 
Um, and what I'm gonna do is copy this. I can yank it and then I'm gonna go over to my dashboard and I'm gonna open Avante up. So to give us some more space, I'll close my file tree and I'll type leader AA. And now I'm gonna be editing on this entire file. And one thing you can do is type clear. This is like a meta command which talks with Avante and not ChatGPT. So I'll type control S in order to submit that. Um, and it's sort of bugged out and that's fine. I'll type leader AA in order to get Avante back. And now I'm gonna paste in what I had for my prompt. So I'll just type P. So now it, there's two things going on here. If I'm in insert mode, then I can type control S to submit. But if I'm not in insert mode, I can type enter to submit. So I'll show you that. So here I'm in visual mode and I'll boom, enter, and it submits that job. So now it should be figuring out how to change this file in order to actually create a dashboard for my data. And if I come up to the top, um, it wants me to replace lines 30 to 31. So over in my file here, if I go to line 30, um, that's all the way down here. So it's gonna keep the sort of um, welcome messages and stuff, and then it'll start inputting from down there. That's pretty cool. So if I come down and I click capital A, that applies all, and then over here I have some options, and I just usually like to say CA, which takes all of the changes that I wanted to apply and puts them into my document. So it's gone ahead and done that. I'm gonna insert some stuff. My linter's getting mad at me because these should be at the top of the file, and I agree with that, so I'll put that up there. And um, I'm not getting any more linting errors, so let's give this a shot. I'm gonna come back down to where we ran it, and I'm gonna rerun it, and we'll see what it looks like. I'm getting a few errors now. It doesn't find a module named matplotlib. Right, well that's because I never installed it. So what we need to do is update our requirements file. Let's see if Avante can help us with that. Um, write me a requirements.txt. I put a five in there, but it doesn't care. And there's my requirements, so I'm gonna grab these. I'll yank them over here, and then I don't actually have a requirements file yet. So I better create that. I'll say .txt, and I'm gonna paste these in here. And then I'm gonna come down and let's get out of here. And I'm gonna say vemv bin pip install dash r requirements. And once those are installed, I'm gonna rerun my dashboard. And that's just using, using streamlit run dash.py. And notice I've got my virtual environment that I just installed to. It's actually active right now. So I could have just gone ahead and done pip install like that. If I say which pip, I can see that it's pointing to this virtual environment, which is active. And it's important to note that it's active because that means that's what streamlit is um, associated with. So if I actually ask which streamlit it's telling me it's the streamlit in that virtual environment right so just so you understand how all of this is working let's run the streamlit dashboard and uh, let's check this out okay here we go so uh this is extremely exciting to me this is um this is actually showing avante doing its thing it's visualizing the data for us and you'll notice this is not just like the sample data this is actually the full data set um, I'll show you how that's working. If I hop back up here and I'm gonna go over to my dash, I'll make that big and um, here we go. So let's go to where I'm loading the data. I must be reading the CSV and here I'm reading the entire CSV, which I've sort of indicated in my prompt. Okay, let's hop on back. So it's loaded the entire data and it's starting to visualize it for us. So I've got some workout types and these appear to be charts that aren't interactive. Like these are using matplotlib. So let's, um, let's keep developing this a little bit yeah so here I can see for workout type distribution it's using matplotlib but I want this to be interactive so I'm actually gonna grab both of these charts and I'm gonna make a change here and I'll type leader a e to edit with Avante convert these into interactive charts let's see how it does that so it's using Seaborn, but that wasn't really what I wanted. Um, I wanna use Altair, so let's try this again. I'm gonna select it again. I'll type leader AE, and now I'm gonna say, um, by using Altair, let's see what it does now. And it is using Altair now, which is fantastic, but I'll need to import it. Import Altair as Alt, like that, and we'll need to add Altair to our requirements as well. Um, so I'm gonna hop back over to requirements and I'll say Altair like this. Now let's install that and test it out. Close down my old server. I'm gonna reinstall my requirements and I, I will do it that way this time. Um, now I'm gonna run my dashboard. Okay, so we still have our same chart, which by the way has all of our columns in our data. And if I come down a little bit, now we have some interactive charts. 
um, cool. So it's just showing us the distribution of workout types. And we have like a little male, male female pie chart. That's cool. And they're all interactive now. One thing it, I noticed it didn't do was add a filter on our dashboard, like I asked. So let's see if we can get it to add that for us. Add uh, filters to the report. So it's giving me these sidebars and it's updating the code in various places to reflect this. It's completed that. So I'm gonna come up to any of these code blocks and type capital A in order to bring these into our code. And now I'm gonna do these one at a time. So this one I'll say CT, which is take theirs. And you can see the diff here happening. The top one is what we had before. The bottom one is what Altair is, or what um, Avante is recommending for us. So I'll say CT to accept that one as well. I'm gonna save this. And now our dashboard should reflect this when we reload it. Hey guys, just a quick interruption to talk about my Patreon. Now, I think it's really important to learn from a wide variety of sources. And so that's why my premium content on Patreon is targeted at teaching you full stack data science from many different angles. And what I do is I read a bunch of books like the DevOps Toolkit or MLOps, or I read a book on data visualization recently, or I've read books on data engineering. And what I do is I write my favorite takeaways from these books into slides, and then I walk through those slides and talk about them. So I include those slides as PDFs. I also convert this to an MP3 file, so you could listen while you're outside going for a walk or something like that, or you could watch me actually doing it as a video and walking through the slides. And I think there's great value in these. I've done like six or seven of them now, and by the time you watch this, I'll probably have done even more. So that's what you get by being part of my Patreon community. Thanks very much, and I'll let you get back to the video and the stuff we're doing today with Avante. And I can see this little sidebar right here, and this is what it's done for us. So let me expand this a little bit. Um, so I can select like age ranges, and let's do a weight. And oh, I can even do workout types. Let's get the hit stuff out of there. Oh, this is incredible. This is <laughs> this is incredible. Um, so I can bring this down and. Yeah, so it's um, it's built this entire dashboard for us. Let's bring the females back. Where are they? Take all the genders. There we go. All right, they're back in here. Um, it, amazing. And um, of course, like um, all, most of this functionality is how amazing Streamlit is, which is a really incredible thing. You can go ahead and download th this data if you want to. And you can also save these images as well, which is really great. Wow, guys. I'm really blown away with how well Avante did on this task for me. Now there's a few tricks and I tried to show you a little bit of the dark side of Avante, like when it kind of gets mad at you and you have to close it and like, it's not perfect. I'm not telling you this is gonna be as smooth an experience as Cursor, but it's open source. Um, I pay for what I use and it's all in NeoVim, which is like, so great, right? So I'm like loving this Avante tool right now. And as much as I love writing code, it's extremely satisfying and very productive to have language models write code for you. Um, so I'm gonna keep on this Avante train and I'm linking videos to you here with more things that I do and more ways that I can get productivity out of this tool. And if you haven't configured it yet, I have a link as well in the video description to how I installed this with NeoVim. So you should set this up and start playing around with it yourself. I think you'll love it. Thank you for watching and namaste.